right, so now we're back to the notes, and this should make a whole lot more sense to you. So here is going to be uh, a thing that has two slits in it. It's kind of difficult to see, but there's a slit right here, and there's a slit right here, and then light is going through the two slits. It's making the two circles, and then where the two circles are coming together could be constructive or it could be destructive. All right, now over here, this is the simulation that we just got finished with. So notice the light is coming in from this direction. It's hitting two slits, and then it's making the two circles, and where it comes together, you can have constructive or destructive. All right, so now let's take a look at our next slide. Okay, so here is a formula that's going to allow you to calculate mathematically where the maximums are going to occur at. So what are the maximums? That's where it's extra bright. So that was where you could see the, the light. That's going to be a maximum. And so let's look at the formula. So it's going to have n, where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever. This is the wavelength of the light that you're using. This D is going to be the distance between the two slits. So here's slit number one, here's slit number two, and the distance between them is the letter D. And then you've got the angle. So this is the angle between uh, whatever maximum you're interested in. So here is the central maximum, and then here is the first maximum. So we would use n equals 1 in this formula to find this first angle, n equals 1. So point is that the interference is depending on the wavelength of light that you're using. It's depending on the distance between the two slits and it's depending on the angle that you're interested in. Does that sound familiar? So if we go back to here, we said that interference depends on distance, interference depends on the wavelength, and interference depends on the angle. So those are the three things that interference depends on, and those are the three variables in this formula here. Now, you're not going to have to use the formula, but all I want you to know is what does interference from two slits looks like, and then what does it depend on? So the location of the constructive and the destructive interference depends on what variables, and so we saw that. Okay. So now, let's take another break, and when we come back, we are going to look at another example of interference called Newton's rings.